And now, suspense. Wait a minute, wait a minute. One of you must have. Hey, you, hey, lady, what happened? Hey, mister. Come back here. Come back, come back here. Now, look, you just tell me what you saw. All I thought was just what you saw. This fellow lying dead with a toy doll in his hand. <laughs> Tony, it's Jerry. Look, uh, I'm just on my way home, and I picked up a cute little story in the 8th Avenue subway. Two grown men fighting over a toy doll. One guy kills the other one. No, I didn't see the fight myself, but I saw the body. There's a woman there with a feather in her cap. She saw it. Yeah, she said one guy ripped the arm off the toy doll, stabbed the other guy, and beat it. No. No, I got a good look at the doll, though. It was made in Switzerland. Okay, I'll try and trace it. I won't be in tomorrow morning then. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the police department has asked me to show you a doll. The story hasn't hit the morning papers yet, but late last night there was a doll murder. You ever seen a doll like this? It's a very rare handmade foreign doll. You'll notice the arm has been torn off. Now, whoever the murderer is, he tore off the arm and got away. If you've ever seen this doll or one like it, kindly phone this station. Okay, Hank, it's all yours. Just one of your dolls, honey. Oh, you're crazy. I saw one like a doll at your store. We never carried a doll like that. At least I hope not. Maybe I better go down and see. If it was one of your dolls, it would cause a lot of trouble, hmm? Yeah. What are you doing in my pocket? Mint. You know, I always take your mint. I love them with a cigarette. See you later, sweetheart. Okay, Scorpy. can do for you? Well, I, uh, I was thinking about a doll. Here we are, sir. Dolls from all over the world. 123 different countries, all in native costume. Ah, you've built up quite a business here. Well, it really isn't mine anymore. I failed and I had to sell out. Actually, I only clerk here now. Who's the owner? Edward. See, Edward, Edward. Hey. <laughs> Isn't she a beauty? Hey, do you have any dolls from Switzerland? Switzerland? No, we don't. I'm sorry, sir. 
Oh, well, in that case, I'll have to try elsewhere. <clears throat> well, good morning, Mr. Edwards. Hiya, Pop. Well, you seem surprised to see him. Well, he only comes in once in a while. Just by appointment, then. Well, I suppose he handles wholesale, you handle retail. Yeah, that's right. Well, actually, it was a wholesale order I wanted to place. Uh, just a minute, sir. Uh, you can't go in there. Not till you're identified. <laughs> oh, really, you shouldn't, sir. I don't even go in there myself. Something I can do for you? Oh, uh, oh yeah, I'm from Detroit. Uh, East department store. Yeah. I think I'd like to order about $50. I see. Well, can I come in, sit down, we'll talk it over? Well, our display is in the next room. Suppose you pick out the type of doll you want, and then we'll talk it over. Well, actually, I didn't see anything I liked out here, you know, but I know you used to carry the line. It came from Switzerland. Then you didn't see it here. We never carried a Swiss doll, did we, Pop? Not to my knowledge, No, though. I didn't think so. Well, thanks for dropping by, anyway. Well, okay. Good day. Good day. That guy's a cop. What did he say when he first came in, Pop? He wanted a doll, sir. Yeah? What did you say? Don't you worry, Mr. Everett. I wouldn't do anything to get you in trouble. What do you mean, get me in trouble? Now, now, I don't mean that you aren't legitimate. But of course, I did see one of your wholesale customers in here with you last night. And of course, I did see him go out with a sample. A Swiss doll. That, um... That sample was wrapped, Pop. How did you know it was a Swiss doll? Oh, I didn't, sir. Uh, not till I saw it on TV this morning. I see. Pop, have you any idea why a guy would want to grab a doll like that? Not the faintest idea, sir. The thing that puzzles me is why anyone would tear off an arm like that and run with it. Yeah. Can't figure it. I just can't figure it. Excuse me, sir. You're going to be here for a few minutes? I'd like to run across and get some aspirin. Sure, go ahead. There's some two-timing going on here, Scorpy. You think it could be Pop? Could be. <laughs> could be you, too. Yeah, that's a point. Want to know another point? Maybe it's your wife. Yeah, maybe it is your wife. Maybe she's making a little pile for herself. Are you crazy? No, I think we'll find the answer in Pop's coat. What does that look like? A key. Locker key? Could be. You know, a subway locker is a pretty fine place to hide something. You better go back and take a look at that subway station where the murder was committed. Mr. Edwards? Howie. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? Oh, I'm up from New Orleans doing a little buying. Oh, what type of doll would you like, sir? Something from South Africa? Louis Moran sent me. How, uh, how big an order did you wish to place, sir? Well, I figured to spend 30, 35,000. Well, fine. Would you step in the back? Thank you. My stock is a, sit down, please. Thanks. My stock is a little low at present. I uh, I made a big sale last night. Biggest one I've had so far. Well, perhaps I'd better come back when you get some new stock in. Oh no no no! I can take care of it. That's how you import the diamonds, is it? <laughs> Very clever. Hello, Mrs. Edwards. This is Pop. Peter, you go outside a minute and shut the door. Fool, why did you kill us? I couldn't help it. Nora 
regarding that little business matter we had, I'm afraid we got to advance our plan. What do you mean? Somebody catching on? Look, I can't tell you about it now, but we've got to move fast. I'm going back to the shop. Then I'm going to the locker. Now, if you don't trust me, Mrs. Everett, you can meet me there. I think we'll be a lot safer if we meet at the store. Two hours after closing, uh, say, 8.30. We'll divide things there. Look, you clear enough. Maybe that's what I ought to do. Maybe I should get a reservation somewhere. You make up your own mind. I'll meet you at 8.30. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You have a very fine line of stock. Better go out the alleyway. Oh. What did you find in the locker? Are they all there? Yeah, they're all there. That you, Pop? Yeah. Put the sign on the door. I do now. Now you know all about my business. So we might as well enter into partnership for keeps. Sit down, Pop. <laughs> Come on, sit down. What is it? What do you fellows want? Everybody tried to muscle in on my outfit here. Where would I be? You see, I've got a nice front here, and I'm not going to lose it. So I've got to set an example. <laughs> See you later. Just walking by and... Uh, oh, you're a detective, huh? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just happened to be walking by, checked your door, found it wasn't locked, so I come in to see if everything was all right. Oh, sure, everything's okay. Well, you better keep that door locked. Oh, I sure will. Okay, then. And thanks for reminding me. Right. Good night. The 
three federal agents have disappeared in the past month. It is believed their lives have been lost as a result of the new leadership that has sprung up in the underworld since the recent prosecutions. Who the head of this new syndicate is, we don't know. But we do know, one, he is steering his outfit into new lines of activity. Two, he's a genius for underworld organization. And three, he has the cunning and the killing instincts of a black panther. Peter. Peter. Peter, Miss Redwood's asked for me. You tell him I had a date at 8.30. Girlfriend of mine is sick for a show. All right. Will you give me the phone number of the air terminal, please? That's right. Hello? Hello, this is Mrs. Cavanaugh. Look, I have a reservation on a flight to Rio. I I'd like to change it. Well, I I'd like to make it tonight if possible. I I'll take anything. Look, it doesn't matter. Yes, Mexico, Europe, anything. Just that I'm, I'm very tired and I've got to get away. All right? Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. What's this, honey? A little trip? Darling, I, why did you have to come in right now? I was going to surprise you. What, with a little trip? Well, honey, it's, it's just that I think we ought to get away somewhere. Have a, have a good long rest. Okay, hmm? well. All these pressures. I, I don't know how to live under them. Now, oh, relax, will you, baby? Why don't you sit down and play your old man a tune? You know, baby, I'm, uh, I'm getting a little fed up with all this two-timing going on in the office. Tom, I'm not sure it's just that. Yeah. Only two of us know what was really going on down there. Of course, you're my wife. It couldn't be you. Me? Honey. Me? We travel the same route. Well, that's fine, darling. Glad to hear it. I thought maybe you was getting a little tired of me. Maybe you were trying to fix up a little bankroll all for yourself. Honey, I don't know how you can say that, honestly. I'll get it. No, no, no. I'll get it. Yep. Look, I can't unload it. I've been waiting here hours. There's a dick in the alley. So what do I do? You want me to take care of him? I'll be right over. Honey, don't tell me you got to go out again. Are we ever going to have a little time just for ourselves? Darling, this is a business where you got to watch everybody every second. Can't you ever relax? You've been so jittery lately. That's why you're so nervous. You don't trust nobody. Look at you. You don't even trust your own wife. <laughs> you want to know something? I know you wouldn't run out on me. But with me, baby, it's principle. Always principle, and I watch it. That's why I'm on top. I watch it day and night. See you later, baby. I see old Sean in the alley? Yeah, he's still there. You know, he come right in here snooping. But when I got rid of him, he didn't see anything. Well, how do we do it? Well, we let him stay there a few minutes. If he don't go, we'll take care of him. Put that out. Scorpy. Yeah? Do you think Pop did this all by himself? You mean he got wise and followed the guy and grabbed the stuff? Not by my book. Oh, Pop was a mouse. He wouldn't think of this all by himself. 
Someone had to make him do it. That's right. But who? Who? Could be you. What? If I find out it's you, Scorpy, I'll kill you. Now, let's take care of the guy in the alley. How do you want to do it? Well, let's see. You go out that way. Make believe to leave him. Let him see you get in the car and drive away. Then he'll come in. Drive around the block, come in the front way. Then we'll take care of him. He's right here, baby. Take a look. Go on, bend down, take a look. Lift the coat off his face. That's it. We found the doll's arm in Pop's hand. That's bad luck, baby. And it's all yours. The guy's gone. The alley's clear now. Hey, what's she doing here? Let's take her in the back room. No. Oh, Tom, you can't. You haven't got any proof, Tom. Here's the proof. But in my book, it isn't just proof, it's principle. So now we got both together. So naturally, we can't waste any time. I hope you burn. Get rid of them both. And dump them in the country. That's all, baby. Tom, don't listen to me. Didn't I ask you to quit, didn't I? Every day, nearly almost, I said, let's clear off, didn't I? You wouldn't. Well, after nearly ten years taking it. Don't you think maybe now I got the right? Right for what? Cross me, baby? Not me. <laughs> Not me. Tom! the owner of this place. He's got something to do with the doll murder. Well, that's ridiculous. Oh, would you mind answering a couple of questions? Huh? Suppose we go inside and settle it. Take me down to headquarters. I'll answer any questions you want. Well, what's the matter with inside? Get nervous hanging around here? Right. You better frisk him, officer. Yes. I never saw that. Hey, that looks like the yarn from the missing doll. 